See now take this for instance. With my welding skills, I could have this whipped into shape in probably five minutes. Put it to use down in Kentucky. Hey guys, Capper here. As you can tell behind me, we got hit with snow last night. Now typically here in southern Illinois, we don't get this kind of snow. But I'm, I'm guessing we easily got 14 inches of snow, as you can see behind me. That's a solid call right there. That's 14 inches all day long. Now let's see some tractor work. So I'm going to fire up the tractor and get this cleared. Now as you can see in the driveway here, the massive amount of snow we got along with the drifts. But I have no doubt that that tractor with the bucket is going to plow through this and make quick work of it. Now you'll probably notice that I don't have the cap on my tractor right now. And there's a reason for that. I had the dealership come and get it yesterday and he wanted to get a new Bluetooth installed and then a new heating system in it with these brand new state-of-the-art coils in the top and then I'm having a hot tub put in the back. CJ, I already have Bluetooth, I already have a good heater in the cab. I'm getting a jacuzzi, not a hot tub. Big difference. You'll probably notice with that last load of snow that I dumped, I might have been pushing the limit. There was probably, I'm going to say, 10,500 pounds of snow in the bucket. But this tractor, I think, has just enough to get away with it. 10,5, come on, man. My tractor can handle 12,000. Hey guys, Capper here. Uh, just left the house. I'm heading over to an auction yard that has old equipment, farm equipment, planters, tractors. I know the wife mentioned something to me this morning before I left. I don't remember what she said. But anyway, let's head over to this yard and see if there's any golden gems there I can come home with to use around the property. I just passed a Lowe's here and I, I needed to stop in and get some oil for one of my machines. Now I know Mrs. Capper said the next time I stop at Lowe's to get her a random orbital sander. But that's at the other end of the store. I, I just don't have time for that right now. Time is money, man. I could use one of these. I could take, I don't know, a half acre of my property, plant beans or corn in it. Hold on a second. Message from Mrs. Capper. Hey, just checking when you were going to be home. Um, you're going to help me take out that old dryer and bring in the new one. So, uh, talk to you soon, love you. That wasn't anything important, but what I was saying is, if I got one of these and took like a half acre of property, planted some corns or beans, that would be some more income. And of course, purchasing this would justify the means in the end, don't you think? These here would probably go good in between the, the little bridge I'm trying to build, in between my ponds. I wonder how much it would cost to get those home. I got another message from Mrs. K. Hey, um, I never heard back from you, and I got a couple of loads to dry now. I'm thinking you should have been home by now. You're, you're not shopping for anything, are you? Not important. See, now this here, this would make a great will it start video. With my welding skills, I could have this whipped into shape and probably five minutes put it to use down in Kentucky
Mrs. K left me another message. Um, yeah, about that dryer thing. Yeah, never mind. I moved it all by myself. Got it all hooked up. So, uh, yeah, don't be surprised if you have some wet clothes to wear for a while. Well, I guess she took care of that. And besides, I got about six more rows to go down through this yard to see what else they got. You know, if I pick up one of these to put by each one of my blinds, those would make some really good deer feeders. I wonder what that guy would charge me to haul some of this home. All right, guys. Check this out. I think I'm going to take that home with me too and have the Mrs. Capper change this from clipper to clapper. Be a good project for her to work on. But until next time, Capper out.